the man looking out from under these hats is a sensation in the fashion world. Justin Smith has been a milliner for just two and a half years, but his label J. Smith Esquire is already being sold in selected shops worldwide. So it brings out your personality. You know, for me, wearing a hat isn't actually about wearing a hat and suddenly this becomes my personality. I want, you know, to enhance somebody's personality. Justin Smith is fascinated by hats and headwear. His hallmark is his dry sense of humour, and it's very evident in his collections. He doesn't differentiate between hats for men and women. All his models are unisex. They do do lots of hats, and they're quite traditional styles that are quite often masculine styles, but I manipulate the shape of them slightly so it brings a contemporary edge to them. Smith had already capitalised on his fascination with heads in his earlier profession as a hairstylist. He worked in a well-known and exclusive salon, creating daring hairstyles for fashion shows and competitions. When I was hairdressing, I was uh, doing some avant-garde sculptural hairdressing, and that led me on to um, learning more about millinery. And, and as soon as I started millinery, it, it got stuck because of the manipulation of different fabrics, and um, it doesn't grow. Justin Smith makes his hats by hand. He has up to three assistants helping him create his collection. They use time-honored millinery techniques. Materials like straw or felt are pulled into shape over a wooden block. The hat is then pinned into place until it has dried. Yeah, it's quite it's it's strange millinery because you have to be quite gentle with it in a in a way and have like quite a, a delicate eye to do all the finishing details and all the hand stitching and things like that. But then this process can be really heavy as well. The inner lining is also sewn by hand. The hat maker likes to take classic designs and reinterpret them to create a unique and extravagant look. And it's like this is the same as a, a traditional trilby, but it's just shrunk sizes really. So if you if you, somebody came to me and said they wanted this hat in particular, but the, you know that I would just manipulate it for their face shape really. I just kind of advise them on whether it looks better on the back of their head or whether it looks better like down and a little bit at a jaunty angle, which is you know usually a good way to wear a hat. His collections are anything but one of the mill. The young designer has acquired a reputation as something of a fashion provocateur. His fashion shows tend toward the spectacular, like this one in Barcelona. They're not massively masculine or feminine things, really. It's just I look at it more as, a, as an object like I would with the hair sculpture in a way. It's more about saying, telling a story with the whole collection, but also a silhouette and a shape and then a, a texture. The designer has also created a collection for Royal Ascot, perhaps the world's most famous horse racing event. The basic designs can be customised with accessories. Hopefully educate people that you can actually have a hat made for you and it doesn't need to be desperately expensive, but it's something that actually you'll have for, for life, you know, like a really good pair of shoes or something, you know, it, it's something that can be mended and, and with age it becomes better. <laughs> Justin Smith is one of the most promising talents of British millinery. Creative, courageous, and with just a touch of the mad hatter about him.